We're at the Cooper and Hunter booth, and today we're discussing the difference between a multi-zone mini split, a mini VRF system, and a VRF system. On a multi-zone mini split, you're gonna have anywhere from say two zones all the way up to five zones, and you're gonna individually connect each one of these to the indoor unit, such as the wall-mounted unit, the ceiling cassette, a one-way cassette, a slim duck unit, a mini floor console, a floor ceiling unit, or a multi-position air handler. And so these can connect to any one of those combinations as long as this unit has the correct capacity to support those units. And as well, you don't have to install every single one of these. Uh, so you could say install say three out of the five zones in order to add the additional zones later. So on this multi-zone mini split system, the compressor is an inverter compressor and it can ramp down as low as 25% of its operating capacity if only a couple zones are calling, say for heat or for cooling, and it can ramp up to 100% capacity to meet the full load. It can even go up to 110% in order for uh, just a short period of time for operation. Now, the other thing is that you could have a total cumulative line set length of 264 feet added to this. So that's all of the indoor unit line sets added together. And each one of those line sets can go vertically up to say 50 foot. So let's move on to the mini VRF. On a mini VRS system, the big difference is it's multi-zone, but the thing is you only have two service valves to have your line set going into the building. And the big difference is you're gonna be connecting to Y fittings in order to branch off to each of your individual indoor units. And so you're not gonna have individual line set lengths from the outdoor unit to each of the indoor units. So it's just gonna be one and you're just gonna branch off as you go. And so you're gonna have this be able to get connected up to up to 11 indoor units. And so you could have a total line set length connected to this of up to almost 400 lineal feet. So that's 400 cumulative feet. And so that's a, that's a big deal. And so the other big change or difference is that at each of the indoor units, such as this uh, air handler right here, you're actually gonna have a metering device at the indoor units. And so that differs from a multi-zone mini split. And so you're gonna have this operating just like a heat pump, but it's the whole point is that you have a larger uh, capacity, a larger size, larger line set length, so it gives you more options. And VRS systems can be powered with three phase, 230 or 460 volt. And so this one right here can be anywhere from say six tons up to 38 tons. And so then we also have our hyper VRF systems. And these ones can go from anywhere, so we say six tons all the way up to 20 tons. And the whole point is that on a hyperheat VRF, what you're gonna have is you're gonna be able to uh, produce 100% of its operating capacity at even negative four degrees, so it's a big deal. And so the compressor here, it's an inverter compressor. And so on these smaller systems, you're gonna have one compressor with one IPM, with a refrigerant heat exchanger for the intelligent power module to power the compressor. And uh, this, this right here is gonna be your heat sink. And so you don't have to have air crossing the heat exchanger of the IPM. So that's, a, that's an awesome thing. Back here, you have a huge accumulator, which you're not gonna be able to maybe see, but it's as big as the compressor itself. And so that's because it can connect to up to so many different indoor units. So this is for large commercial applications but once again like i said you can get as small as a six ton vrf system connected to three phase so i hope this video has helped you understand the differences between mini split multi-zones mini vrf and vrf systems